uh, technique that is aimed uh, uh, at uh, achieving coverage of the foliage throughout the, the season without using sprayers, okay? And who was there this morning heard, uh, has heard a lot about this very interesting system and they have a, a very large program uh, which is uh, in many places of Europe, uh, sorry, in the US. Uh, and we have just started, we have just beginners. But uh, we thought that with such small trees, if we're capable to keep them below 250 or 270, we can achieve uh, probably a, a nice coverage just by using strip net kind of, uh, they are actually called strip net. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a kind of uh, system that uh, just uh, uh, produces a kind of, um, let's say, droplet. Coarse drop. It's not mist. a mist. No. It's not a mist. I show you the mist. It's, okay. We have it okay. too. But the problem of mist is that it makes a, a like a bubble, okay, and that is very sensible to the drift, uh, to the wind. Just, <laughs> a, just a tiny, uh, let's say, um, uh, wind speed can can push this cloud away. Why with this system we have uh, kind of mm, <coughs> small droplets, but big enough just to, to have less drift okay what is the problem that this system cannot go deep three four meters so uh, we have a very good coverage of the tree let's say up to this level and not enough coverage in the lower part of the tree that's why we are trying to to uh, establish uh, a system that is even a little bit more dwarfing but uh, we will see uh, uh, this and we, it's a work in progress as I was saying so um, this system is, is very inexpensive because we are talking about uh, uh, 700 800 uh, of these sprinklers to the hectare um, very simple to mount very simple to maintain no very no fine mist that is very prone to get stuck and all this these things that's why we like this thing this uh, this technique uh, on the other hand this technique cannot be used when we have nets alcarpo nets on the tree uh, 